pouring, absolutely pouring. more is not going to be the same. Let's check the forecast. Well, tomorrow looks like it's going to be raining again. Well, I'll take my umbrella with me and hopefully it's going to be okay. Hi everyone, so today I am in Salvador, Bahia, and I prepared my entire day to a rainy day. So the places I will be going are supposed to be for you to go when it's rainy, but clearly I have been lied to because the idea was that it was going to be raining all day long, but it is not. So I will show you around, it's gonna look great. That's awesome for footage, but I wanted to show you some of the options you can have if it is very rainy and you don't actually want to be outside. So I am now in the Fortress Santa Maria, which is the first stop of my rainy day video. Behind me here is the Farol da Barra, so the lighthouse from Barra neighborhood. They also have a nautical museum in there. It might be very good to go if you are in the neighborhood. But for the time being, I will just like hop onto a few places that I wanted to show you so that you can have some inspiration for when it's raining. So the first thing I would say is it might be a good thing if you're like, it's a bit rainy, a bit cloudy and you don't feel like going out to go for like a long brunch or a long breakfast somewhere. There are a couple places. One of them is Casa Genoca. Apparently it's very famous. It's like typical breakfast here. So you can try and go there. I went all the way there this morning but they were having like a, a closed party for someone so I couldn't go in and try it but like everywhere I saw apparently this is like the top one place for you to go have typical breakfast from the region from Bahia. So the second place that I have heard of is a, is a tiny local neighborhood place called Doce Pão, so sweet bread. They have a self-service buffet so that you can go get whatever you want and they also have like a typical thing which is called beiju which looks a lot like a tapioca but it is not apparently the flour that it's made of it's it's slightly different it's also from manioc but it's slightly different i had three types of cake i had carrot cake kind of a, a pan cake instead of going into the oven and also queijadinha cake queijadinha is a kind of a cheese and, and coconut type of pastry we have here in this region so they had a cake made out of that I also had some plantain, so the, the, the kind of like banana, but thicker, bigger. And the beiju, which is the tapioca that I mentioned, the, the lady from the bakery suggested I would have a mix of cheese, uh, kind of a jerk beef, well, more like a matured meat from, from the area, carne seca, and also some plantain all together. It tasted really good. So if you are in, in Salvador, do try beiju and go out for a, a long breakfast in some of these places. You will probably just like eat as much as you can and enjoy your early morning. I noticed that in the morning, like very early, it tends to look cloudy. And then as the day goes by, it gets sunnier until the end of the day as well. So do not fret if the weather looks daunting in the, in the early morning, it probably will get sunnier later on. But for now, let's keep on with our tour. The first stop here is Pierre Verger Photography Museum of Bahia. So Pierre Verger was a French photographer that kind of settled in Bahia here in Salvador and he loved it. So we have this little museum here. It's a tiny museum that you can visit. So I will take a look into the Pierre Verger Museum and I will talk to you on the other side on our next spot. Continuing our rainy day tour, very rainy, as you can see. I just came from the Pierre Verger Photography Museum and now I came to this digital experience, I would say, about Caribe. Caribe was an Argentinian guy that settled here. So like, it's very colorful, it's, it's very interesting. 
Like, I honestly enjoyed the experience so much more than I thought I would. Interactive activities for you to do, like a, a, a picture, or you can come here and you can dance around and pretend you are painting. So there are, there are a couple of things that are really nice. They're right across each other, so it's like two forts that became this uh, experience. The museums are usually closed on Tuesdays, these two. So come on the other days, and they open pretty much from the entire day, from 10 to 6. Uh, on Wednesdays, both of these museums, as well as like the Carnival Museum and a couple of other museums that are maintained by the government, are free for you to visit. So just really make sure you come and visit. It's a different side. It's not very well known, both of these museums, but it's really interesting. If you're not coming on a Wednesday, it costs 20 reais, which is about $4, to visit the two of them. Now I'm going to continue. I'm going to visit another spot and I will speak to you then. I am now at the Modern Art Museum of Bahia and this used to be an old kind of estate like from colonial times so they have like a, a building that used to be a church, the actual house and another house and each of these places are now uh, a space that you can visit so you have sculptures, you have paintings, you have ateliers where you can try different things. You can also go to the movies, so they have like independent Brazilian movies over here, like very niche. So if you're interested in that, you could easily spend a full afternoon here. And right next to where I am right now, like they have some pods that you can see it in, which is where, where I am. Right next to a beach, it's a rock beach, but it's quite full today. They're full of people like on small boats, as you can see, I think here on the corner. There are people with jet skis, there are people just enjoying the sun. So it's, it's a nice place. It's, it looks like a very local place, somewhere that a tourist wouldn't necessarily come. Mostly foreigners would come here. But yes, I think it would be a fun place for you to come. One of the things I highly suggest you do uh, when you're here is, for example, if you're getting an Uber back and forth, if you find a driver that you like, just ask them if they could take you around for like a fixed price or something like that. A lot of them will do that. I found someone who's really nice. He's taking me to all of the spots that I would otherwise not have gone to. So many amazing views from Salvador, the sunset and things like that. It's just really great. So do that. Just like find someone that you trust, that you kind of vibe with and see if they can do a fixed price for you and take you around and show you the city. You will find some very, very good spots that you wouldn't have otherwise. We are now at Nossinho do Bonfim Church. It's the one with the colorful uh, ribbons. This church is very nice to see these ribbons. As essentially, you buy one and you make three wishes. But if by any chance it is raining and you want to visit, the inside of the church is really nice as well. So, and it's far from the other attractions. So I thought this could be a good place for you to come. Now it's, they are having the mass, so I'm not going to go inside and film it, but I filmed a little bit from the outside, just so you can take a look. Um, but I think it's another good option for you. Most of these places you can come and go by Uber, so it's very easy to get here. Be mindful of like people offering you like to give you a gift or give like tie a ribbon on your on your wrist or something like that. It's usually like tourist scams. They're gonna charge you a lot of money for that. So be mindful of that. But don't accept any offers from anyone except if you want to buy something. Other than that, just come here, take beautiful pictures inside and out. So yeah, I will I will show you a little bit more of the area and I will then go to my next stop. I will see you there. Our last spot of the day is Sorveteria da Ribeira. Ribeira is like a very traditional uh, middle-class neighborhood here in Salvador. So it's not very touristic, but the ice cream shop is. So you can go there, you can choose from many flavors they have. They have several like typical fruits from the northeast and the north, things that you won't find necessarily in Rio. I had the tapioca flavor and the roasted coconut flavor. They were both really good. Um, a couple of things that I would tell you. Make sure that once you is getting line to buy your tickets and then to order that you kind of know what you want because it's really busy so the they might get impatient to just get on with the other orders so make sure you have an idea of what you want to order and the last thing I would say is like I ordered two scoops of ice cream and they started melting immediately even though it's like 
cloudy and rainy, it's going to be hot. So just either order one or maybe order it in a cup. Otherwise, it's all going to be a kind of like a cold mess. So yeah, despite the sunshine, those would have been the attractions that would have gone on a cloudy, rainy day. They're mostly indoors. They're mostly places where you can just stay in and enjoy some cultural events, some uh, digital events even. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, check this other one out here. I will be putting out uh, more videos of Salvador. So one of them is probably going to be around here whenever they come out. Uh, otherwise, I will let uh, YouTube choose for you which one is best. I will see you then. Bye.